Hey guys, this is Peter's Kitchen, and today we're going to be showing you how to make fettuccine alfredo. Now, the first thing you're going to need in the pasta dish is, of course, the pasta. So what we've got here is we've got our fettuccine pasta set out here. And then, of course, after that, the next thing you're going to need is the stuff for the alfredo sauce, which we've got set out here, which is the heavy cream, the butter, the, and the two types of cheese. Now you're going to want to have three-fourths of a pint of the heavy cream. You're going to want to have half a cup of the Parmesan cheese and three-fourths of a cup of the Romano. And then you're going to also want a cup of the butter. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need all the seasonings for both the pasta and the Alfredo sauce, which is going to be pepper, garlic, and salt. Now, after that, you're going to want to have your water boiling, which I've already started over here, so you don't have to wait for me to ramble on for 10 minutes, which is good for you. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add the pasta into the boiling water over here, which, before the water starts to boil, you can go ahead and actually add a pinch or two of salt, and that will just add extra flavor to the pasta as it cooks. A little fun fact for you there. So, what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and throw this in here, and try not to burn your hand. Just the last piece is there. And it's going to take a while for it to start boiling, and already it's starting to lose some of its uh, straightness of the pasta here. It's going to start to get a little bit flexible and bendy here, which is what you want. But you're going to want to give it oh, about 10 minutes for the pasta to be thoroughly cooked through and for it to be actually edible. The olive oil is something olive oil is something you might want to add to it just to keep it from uh, you know sticking together so you don't have to keep stirring it like I'm going to because we don't have olive oil but it's just something you can add in is just to keep it from sticking to itself and to the pot. Well now that you've got all your stuff boiled here and you've got your pasta down and it's all cooked, you're going to want to strain it off and you're going to already have your colander set up on this thing. So what you're going to do is you're just going to shut off the stove there. You're going to grab the pot and be really, really careful because it does get really, 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 really hot because it's been at high for quite a while now. Now you're going to want to dump it straight into the colander here, just to drain off all the water slowly so you don't splash it back on yourself. And that's all you need to do with that. So once you get that in there, you're just going to go ahead, and the colander's not as hot, so you can pick that up and just shake that off and get all of the water out. So the next part of the fettuccine, and you can leave that sitting there for a while because it's going to um, need to sit and cool off just a little bit, but hopefully not too much here as we make our sauce for the fettuccine alfredo. So the things you're going to need for this, like I've already said, is the cheese, the butter, and the cream. And you're going to want to add all these things into a sauce pot or a saucepan at medium to low heat. So put it at about four. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to add in your butter here, which is one cup. And you're going to toss that in. There we go. You're going to want to add in cream. And you're going to wait until the butter starts to melt down a little bit. And to do that, you just got to slowly kind of wait for it. It's going to take a while for it to get there. I'm going to go grab a pot holder so I don't burn my hands and if you want this the cream but it starts. You're going to go ahead and you're going to add your two types of cheese here. And you're just going to sprinkle it in. And the whole reason you add it in is to thicken the, uh, the cream and the butter mixture to make it more of like a cheesy, creamy Alfredo sauce. And it just really, truly gives it a better flavor. Plus, you need it because it's a creamy, cheesy Alfredo. Um, so yeah, you're going to let this go ahead and slowly melt into there. And while it's doing that, you're going to want to come over here, you're going to re-grab your pot out of the sink. Now that it's time had, had time to cool, you don't need pot holders. So like, give it a few minutes though. Don't burn yourself, don't blame me if you burn yourself. And you're going to want to add a little bit of uh, oil here to the bottom of the pan here, so that way 
when you pour the pasta back in, it doesn't stick to the pot, which it might if you don't. Just a tiny little bit of oil will do. Spread it around a little bit, just so it kind of evenly coats the bottom of the pan. It doesn't have to evenly coat it, but just so it coats the majority of the bottom of the pan. And then you're going to grab your pasta here that's been draining for a while, and you're just going to go ahead and just stub that back in. And you're going to go ahead and just dump that back in there. And that's also one of the things, the reasons you want to add olive oil, is because it will, like I said, stick together. We didn't have olive oil, and we just kind of used, like, uh, we just used some oil that we found sitting around to coat it, so it wouldn't stick to the pan as badly as it is sticking to our colander here. I promise this is going to get better and I'm going to learn for this from this. So don't make fun of me too much now. Okay, so you're going to come back over here to your Alfredo sauce, which has had time to simmer and it's had time for the cheese to melt into it. And it smells really good. You guys can't smell it, but I can. And it smells really, really, really good. And so, now that that's all mixed together, you're just going to add it in to the pasta here. You're just going to go ahead and just dump that straight on in over the pasta so it evenly coats everything. Now, you don't have to pour it back into the same, the pasta back into the same pot that you're using. But you can do that just to minimize dishes, which is nice for whoever has to clean up. Because uh, you can pour it into a fancy nice little bowl, you're going to have to clean the fancy nice little bowl, you're going to have to clean the pot. It's just a lot of extra work. I'm a dishwasher, trust me, I know. So now you're going to want to go ahead, and you can add this at any time. I add this towards the end, like the little powdered stuff. You're just going to want a tiny little pinch of garlic, and you can mix that in as you're adding it here. I'm just going to throw in a little bit of that just to give that a little bit of a garlicky flavor. It's what garlic that is. And then you're going to want to add your pepper. And since you've already added some salt, I wouldn't recommend adding too much. And people can always add their own if they don't like what they have in there. Now, as you can see here, I've got a nice creamy fettuccine alfredo that is really yummy, really delicious, ready to serve, ready to go. And just about anybody will serve this too will like it. And unfortunately, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, that was us making fettuccine, me making fettuccine alfredo. And I hope to see you guys back the next episode that we do this. I don't know if it's going to be next week, next month. I don't know yet. Um, but here's the part where I'm going to have to sell myself out. And I'm sorry for doing this. But like this video if you like it. Subscribe to our channel if you want to watch more. We're going to be putting up fitness videos. We're going to be putting up all sorts of other things. I don't even know yet. All I know is that I'm cooking fettuccine alfredo right now for a video. So that's good. Um, share it to your friends, your family, everyone around. And I hope to see you guys back next episode. This has been Peter Krawski in Peter's Kitchen, and I'll see you next time.